Procade. It's a mega flutter UI kit built for the developers to design modern and user friendly apps quickly without compromising the quality and without reinventing the wheel. And if you want to know more about the Procade, you can check out the promo videos. We will give the link in the i button. And in this video, we're going to see how to import Procade screens into your new or existing project. And that screen could be anything. We have 1600 plus screens and also we have added multiple dashboards in the Procade. So I will use one of the dashboards that we have in the Procade. And the steps that you have follow are firstly you have to create a new project into Procad. Then we will copy paste that screen that we want to use in your in the project. And then we will solve the package error. Then we will solve the function and variable errors. And after that we will give the location or the path to the assets that we are going to use. We will copy them into the project and give the path and or change the path. So let's see how to do that and add a screen into our system. I will also show you the preview in the mobile that how it looks after importing that screens. So let's start. So firstly, you can see that we are into our Android studio and I will just go into the files and we will go into new and we will create a new flutter project. And in that we will click on next and then we will give the project name that I am giving right now with dashboard demo. If you are creating your new project, then you have to give your name or if you are using existing, then you don't have to just do this stuff. You will directly move to the next step. So let me show you firstly how to get into the new project. So our Flutter project has been preparing. It will take some time according to your configuration. And after the we will go into our projects and in that we will go into the library and in the main dot you can see some of the functions and all this stuff are default added into the system. So I will just uh, minimize them and I will remove it from the project because we don't need those class and functions into our existing dashboard. So I will just remove whichever stuff we don't want and then we will add a container to the home page. And once our new project has been made, you have to open the project file of the Procade that we have provided. You will have all the stuff in that project like the dashboard, themes, integrations or whatever things you want. So I will just go into that project and in the library you can see that we have these files and in that we have the dashboard. And in the dashboard I will go into the screens and I will select one of the dashboard. I am just selecting random dashboard that is the dashboard 3. So I will just click on it and you can see this is our code for the dashboard tree that we have made and I will now just copy this dashboard. Now I will go to our new project where I will go into the library and create a new directory and I will give it a name screen and in that I will paste our dashboard. You can give the name or whatever you want but put it whatever we have so you can easily do some changes if you want. So you can see our dashboard has been copied into our system. There are some errors you can see that has been highlighted into this system and we have some package errors and all that stuff. Firstly, we will remove all the packages that are not necessary right now into the screens and then we will uh, solve one of the package error that we have in this. Before that, I will just copy the dashboard three name and I will add it into the container and replace the container with that name into our home. And after that, uh, I will just right click on it and I will import the package into the main dot for the dashboard tree. So it is being officially in our home page. So now our dashboard has been imported into the system and I will show you one of the preview that you get after importing the dashboard. And this is the preview. You can see that our dashboard is not looking very good right now. There are no images available or any assets available because we haven't given the path or the location or we haven't copied that assets into our system. So firstly, we have to do that right now. It will look like this. Uh, after doing the changes, I will show you the final result of our dashboard. So just stick around. So firstly, we will remove our package error. So for that, we will go into our Procid project that we have provided. And in that, we will go into the uh, WebSec Yamin that we have after the libraries. So we'll just click on it. And in that, you can see that we have this utils that we have to just copy from here. And I will just simply uh, go to my new project and there I will go into PubSec I mean again and in the dependencies uh, you can see we have to just paste it below this option 
and one thing that you have to make sure is the version you need to use the same version that we have provided into your system otherwise it won't be compatible with your system right so after copying you will just click on pubget and you will let the process run it will take some time according to the configurations you have and once it's run you can see that our package error is solved and it's added into this system now let's move to the next error that you can see here are for the functions or variables and the first one is furniture model so for that we will go into our existing project of the procket we have provided and here we will go into the dashboards and you can see below that we have already have this option here too so i will just select that and i will right click on it and i will generate a declaration for it and it will show you the class of it so i will just simply copy that and i will take it into my new project and in that we will just paste it into our dashboard 3 project and it has been copied there now you can see that one of that error is solved now we will move to another it's the similar process you have to find that particular function or variable and you can just simply you can just generate the declaration or usage and you can just copy it and paste it into our new project you have to do it for all the errors that you are getting into this system uh, one by one i will just make this process fast as it's the same right now then now uh, all the function errors are uh, or variable errors are removed now the next error are for the colors or the primary colors so for that we will again go to our project and in that uh, we can see that we have the text primary or secondary color we will just right click and again find the declaration and you can see uh, that is the whole section for the dashboard three where we have given all the colors that we have used for that dashboard so we will just copy that whole section and we will again go to my flutter project and we will just create or i will just paste it into the existing project and then you can see that it has also been solved now but all there are also one of other errors that we have for the values and for the libraries that we have to replace so we, again we will go into the project and in that we will find that particular thing and we will again generate or get the declaration of it you can see uh, we have created a different sections for the different dashboard right now i am finding for the dashboard 3 so it is dh db3 and if you are using any other dashboard it's it's below there you can see that it's for the 1 2 so i will just copy the uh list that i have to use for the d and this i will paste it into the new project that we have created below the colors and you can see that those errors are been solved again now there are some other things that we have to change again which we have to find are this sofa or something like that so we'll go and again find them into our existing project we will get the declaration of them and we will again copy those into our new project and that can also be solved now and now there are some other errors that are for the chairs you will get many of the errors that uh, you have to solve you have to just simply find the declaration then copy it and just paste it here and your problem will be solved one by one so i am just keeping some of the part because it's the same process you can just learn or you can if you are doing it directly you will get it and i will just paste it here again i will just copy those part now you can see our all the function and variable errors and also been solved now we will just directly click on this run option and let our project run it will take some time just wait for it to run when you run this project after solving all the errors you will get this one error to flood which is the flutter fix where we have to change the sdk version to our version in procket we have added this version which is compatible to 21 or above it so you have to make sure that in your new project it needs to be more or that same so to just change that we will go into the android and in that app you have the build gradle so we'll just click on that sdk version and replace it with 21 or above version according to your need and then just click on run 
and the project will run again and it will take some time according to the process and you can see that our project has been successfully saved and run for the dashboard now once our all the errors has been solved still we can see in the preview that uh, our images and assets are not showing properly there are some cross marks on it so now we will change the location and the name of the assets that we are using right now i will use the assets that are provided into our project you can use any of the assets you want you can you have to just give the path and add it into the project so for that you can see in our dashboard you can see that all the images have the path which is not available into the new project it's from the old project now we will go into our existing procure project that we have provided and in that you can see uh, we will just close all the steps and we will go into the images and in that you can see that is the uh, section which is for the dashboards and in that dashboard section we have assigned the images with the name of the dashboard like dashboard 3 dashboard 2 or whatever and right now you can see that the missing things in our new project have the name same with that so we'll go into the project and we'll just copy all the things that are needed into our dashboard that is dashboard 3s so we'll just select all that from here and right now i'm taking the sofas or that kind of images so i will just go and go into the new project and in that i will create a new directory of the dashboard and i will give the name as the assets and in the assets i will again create a directory for the images and in that images i will copy these files now i will find other remaining dashboard images that you need for the things i will just copy them and replace into the image now i will go back to the project and i will file other remaining images that we need into our system and i will just copy it and also paste it into the image directory i will do that until i find all the assets that i need into my system and you can also do that too now you can see that i have imported all the assets that i need for the dashboard that are the pictures but still it's showing the error because the destination or the location that we have right now is from the old project so firstly we have to change that so for that i will select one of the image that we have and i will just right click on it and i will copy the path that image has and i will go into the my project and i will just copy it here i will remove the name uh, i will just copy the front part of it which is the asset image location and i will replace it for all this location for all the assets that we need in this system and I will just do it for all the images that we have. And once it's done, I will go into a pop sec, I mean, and in that folder, you have to also change the asset path in this section assets. So I will just do that into the section two here. We will replace the path to the new path that we have that is asset images. You can see that I'm just writing it and replacing it for the system. And after changing those path into assets too, we will just click on PubGet. So it will run the process. After running the PubGet, you can see one of the error coming, which I have intentionally put to make sure that you don't do the same mistake. So first, there are many things that you have to make sure it's right. So the first is the space between this asset that needs to be uh, in the alignment. Then, then there need to be two spacing between this asset location that we have given you have to make sure that it's perfectly done in your system too or you will also get this error so after changing this i will just click on pubget again and our process will run successfully you can see our installation has been completed and in the preview section also i will show you the dashboard now i will just refresh it and you can see all the assets are up again and now it's looking amazing right but one thing that is still there is this debug banner or something like that so we have to remove that it is a default thing whenever you create a new project it always comes into it so for that we will go into a main dart and you have to just write the faults into the debug and it's done for your system so that's how you can add a dashboard or a screen into your system and you can just use it into any of the project you like so i will just complete it here you can use the procade just like about 2500 plus businesses and individuals who have already launched their app using our Prokit. Develop your Flutter app 10 times faster with Prokit today.